Hi everyone, welcome to Ascended Masters 101 where we talk all about the teachings of the Ascended Masters. These are incredible, truly life-changing teachings that if we apply them diligently in our lives will propel us to our ultimate victory, which is the reunion of God through the ritual of the Ascension. And that relates actually really closely to the topic of our video today, which is strategy of darkness number six. And this strategy is to deprive the light bearers, and that's the good people of earth who carry or bear the light of God in their hearts to deprive the light bearers of the knowledge of the ascension. We'll be diving into that in this video, but in the meantime, if this is all new to you, I recommend the first two videos in this playlist as a quick orientation, and I'll add the link to those in the description below as well. Otherwise, let's jump in. So strategy number six is to literally keep the light bearers, which is the people who love God, like you and like me, from knowing that the ascension is the goal of life. To completely keep us in the dark about the entire purpose, the whole point of life. And this is a pretty diabolical strategy. We know from the Ascended Masters that the earth is a schoolroom, a platform of evolution for souls like you and I, and that the ascension marks the end of the cycle of karma and rebirth. It is essentially the, the graduation ceremony for souls who have learned their lessons, who have grown and matured spiritually and, and earned their graduation from the schoolroom of earth. So earth is just like school, but when you graduate, instead of walking across the stage and receiving your diploma, you have the honor to, by God's grace, earn your ascension. If the ascension is a new topic for you, I'd like to personally invite you to watch the video on this channel called You and Your Ascension, and I'll link to that in the description below. Now, imagine with me for a minute, an entire school in which no one understands that the purpose of school is to move up the grade levels and graduate. Everyone just comes to school and has no concept of the point, the purpose of school. They don't know that they have homework, that they're supposed to be studying for and passing tests, that there is a timeline of learning and growth and mastery in different subjects that they're supposed to be following. They just have no idea. And this is what has happened by and large in the world today. People wake up each morning and find themselves in the school room of earth, but I would venture to say that most people have not heard of the ascension. And I don't mean eventually, yes, someday we're meant to return to God in, in like this passive sense. I mean that the ascended masters have said that with striving, the ascension is possible at the end of this life unless they're unusual karmic circumstances. And that is what we are meant to be striving towards as the goal of this life. And that there are specific requirements, things that we need to be doing, ways that we need to be growing right now in our lives in order to reach that goal. And this victory of the Ascension is, is recorded in numerous sacred scriptures of the world. Jesus graduated from the schoolroom of earth by ascending at Bethany's hill. Elijah ascended to God in a chariot of fire. Enoch, the, the seventh from Adam, walked with God and God took him. And the Ascended Masters explained that this was Enoch making his ascension. Milarepa too, the, the yogi from Tibet, made his ascension. When he ascended, it is recorded that there was a tremendous peace and joy felt by those who were present with, with rainbows and many phenomenon. So just like these masters have earned their ascension through the rigorous process of initiation and spiritual advancement, so you and I in this life can earn the same ultimate prize of the ascension. But how many people know about this? Not many, right? Many of us have been, been lulled to sleep so that we will forget about this tremendous inheritance, the, the supreme joy and, and fulfillment that comes with, with climbing the spiritual path and seeking out 
that great pearl of great price. We've been, we've been distracted and, and thrown off course by all the, the worldly things that the fallen ones have enticed us with. And this is so diabolical because, because it's hard enough to graduate, say high school, even when you know exactly what you're supposed to do, right? It, it takes effort and time to learn chemistry and biology and calculus and, and your prepositions in Spanish, right? How much harder would it be if you showed up at school and had absolutely no idea you were even supposed to be learning anything, let alone those exact subjects, right? Chances of graduation would be pretty slim, I imagine. And it's the same thing with the Ascension. It's a, it's a challenge for students of the Ascended Masters to earn their Ascension even when they know they need to balance their threefold flame and align their four lower bodies, balance 51% of their karma, etc. How much smaller would our chances be if we just had no idea? And this is what this strategy is trying to accomplish. It's, it's conniving, it's strategic, and, and it's super diabolical. And this strategy has worked in many, many ways. In his life in Galilee, Jesus did teach about the Ascension. Jesus never said that he was the only son of God. He, he demonstrated a path of personal Christhood and each one of us in our own way is destined to take that path home back to God through the ritual of the Ascension. But what has happened, the Ascended Masters have explained, is that, that the forces of darkness have managed to infiltrate their way into power and, and alter the sacred scriptures of East and West so that, that much of the meat of the teaching is omitted or altered. I mean, is there still much good? Of course. Can we make great spiritual progress by applying the great truths that remain? Yes. Are the scriptures still relevant and incredibly valuable? Absolutely. But, but are there missing and altered pieces? Yes. Yes, there are. And this is why the teachings of the Ascended Masters are so so precious today because they help to fill in the gaps, the, the missing pieces. So the Ascended Masters are helping to set the record straight and to reset our spiritual compass to true north. And a major missing piece is the knowledge of the path of the Ascension, of the light that we carry within and that we are worthy of our Ascension. This is the, the initiatic mystical path of soul growth that the saints and mystics have all walked before us. Amoria reintroduces us to this path in the beginning of his book entitled The Chila and the Path. I love this book. It's one of my favorites. And on page 14, he says, quote, to those who would move into the new dispensation yet know not the way to go, I say there is a path. Step by step, it has been carved by the initiates of the sacred fire. Over thousands of years, the barefooted devotees have worn a trail over the rocks. The way is known by us. It can also be known by you, end quote. So now that we understand the strategy of darkness, what can we do? There are a few things actually. First, of course, is to remind yourself that the ascension is the goal of life. You can even have a, a note on your mirror to remind you, the ascension is the goal of life. In Strategies of Light and Darkness on page 30, it says, quote, the ascension is for all who desire it and are willing to work toward it. The knowledge of the ascension as the goal of life must become commonplace. I wrote a little song about this for my children, if you'd like to hear it, to help them remember some of the things that we've touched on in this video. And I'll sing it here as well for you. The goal of life is to ascend. The goal, the goal of life is to ascend to God. The earth's a school, the earth, the earth's a school. The earth is where we learn how to ascend to God. Moria El, oh Moria, Moria El, teaches us how to ascend to God. The goal of life is to ascend. The goal, the goal of life is to ascend to God. 
You can also give the Ascension section from the heart, head, and hand decrees. It's a beautiful prayer and it goes like this. I am Ascension light, victory flowing free, all of good when at last for all eternity. I am light, all weights are gone, into the air I raise. To all I pour with full God power my wondrous song of praise. All hail, I am the living Christ, the ever-loving one. Ascended now with full God power, I am a blazing sun. So in addition to reminding yourself about the ascension as the goal of life, you can also start taking some steps towards learning about the ascension and about the path that takes you to the ascension. Perhaps the fastest way to begin if you want to get started right away is to watch the growing playlist on this channel about the Ascension and I'll link to that in the description as well. A great book that I love and highly recommend is the book by Anise Booth called The Path to Your Ascension. Anise was an Ascended Master student who compiled many of the teachings from the Ascended Masters about the Ascension and they are published in this book in a really in a really friendly, easy to read format that I know that you'll really love. I've really enjoyed it. The requirements for the Ascension are all outlined as well as different spiritual keys and insights and, and teaching that is invaluable for anyone who, who wants to walk this path. It's one of those books that you can just read over and over again. Summit University too. It's the university that is affiliated with the Summit Lighthouse and it also offers two fantastic extension courses and they're online. You can take them at your own pace, anytime you like, anywhere you like. And this isn't a paid promotion. I honestly love and genuinely recommend these two courses. I'll link to those below as well. There's another book, um, Dozier on the Ascension. It is an incredible, very mystical book that you will also really love. I think it's it's dictated by the Ascended Master Serapis Bay and it's a very mystical, a very holy book. So these books are filled with spiritual insight and then every time you read them, something new that you didn't catch before comes to you. So they're, they're incredible resources. Walking the path to the Ascension is, is of course a lifelong endeavor and you'll likely find yourself rereading and rereading these books, but, but these resources can give you a really good grasp of the, the broad strokes of, of what this spiritual journey is about. And I truly hope you, you take whatever step feels like the right next step for you on, on this journey, whether you're, you're brand new to this path or, or you've been walking it for some time. The Ascended Masters are, are waiting for each of us to take that next step and we can do it. Another thing you can do other than reminding yourself about this path and walking this path yourself is to, to share the knowledge of the Ascension with others. And, and I know for me, I get so excited to share this incredible knowledge that, that I wanna say it all right away, but often less is more and, and bite-sized pieces are, are easier to digest than, than the whole loaf all at once. So you can call to the higher self or what is called the Holy Christ self of others before you talk to them so that, that you will be guided as to how much to say and, and what words to use to reach their soul and their heart. Also, the Ascended Lady Master Leto said that if you call to her, she will release to your outer mind the information that you need to share with someone who is seeking and in need. And she's promised to help us when we are speaking with others. And that's from page 34 of Strategies of Light and Darkness. So we actually have personal assistance promised to us from an Ascended Master to help us when we are talking with others about this path. So. The book goes into a bit more detail, but for the purposes of this video, I think those are the main, main points and it's already a lot for us to digest and think about. So as soon as this video ends, I want you to do something for me. If you feel so inspired, I want you to get a pen and paper and write on it, the ascension is the goal of life and put it on your mirror. We are meant to ascend. That is the goal. So. God bless each one of us as we are striving towards that goal and I will see you in the next video. God bless.